Um, things that I have learned so far four months post-op VSG is to give myself grace. In the beginning, I was just so upset that I was losing slow. I'm actually happy that I'm losing slow. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is your girl Seymour Lowe, um, Lowe, Logan, whatever you want to call me. Um, I just wanted to come on here and talk about my weight loss thus far, being four months post-op, being four months post-op, um, VSG, gastric sleeve in Mexico. Um, I start off at 279. Um, I'm currently 218. Um, that's four months, four, blah, four months post-op, um, surgery. Uh, what can I say so far? It is still a struggle trying to figure out whether if I want to eat first or drink first. Um, I am still struggling with um my body trying to figure out my body trying to figure out what i like now what i don't like um it's a learning process it, it, it really is and i encourage you if you are thinking about getting a surgery to do your research and just go for it um the only regret that i have which you will probably hear um either on here or in surgery groups on Facebook is not doing it sooner. Um, I do miss drinking. I don't drink as much. I'm not saying that you can't drink, but um, I went on a cruise uh, in November. I went on a cruise and I thought I gained weight because I was drinking, I was eating crazy, um, but I actually did not gain weight, I actually lost weight. Surprisingly, uh, when I went on a cruise, I was 227. Uh, no, when I went on a cruise, I was 229. And then when I got back, I was 227. But I was doing a lot of eating. I was eating late. I was, I think I only had two drinks while I was on the cruise. It was like a five-day cruise. I had two drinks. Um, I ate a lot of burgers. I ate a lot of burgers. <laughs> um but I made sure to get my protein in. So how did I get my protein in? Eating lots of eggs, eating a lot of turkey bacon. Um, I made sure to get my protein in while I was on my cruise. Um, things that I have learned so far, four months post-op VSG, is to give myself grace. In the beginning, I was just so upset that I was losing slow. I'm actually happy that I'm losing slow because I don't want, and I know that it's gonna come because I see it already in my arms. I see it in my boobs and I see it in my thighs, um, flabby skin. I know it's gonna come. I do have plans on after I lose 100 pounds. So, so far I'm 61 pounds now, but I do have plans on getting a skin removal surgery. Um, probably a tummy tuck. Um, I'm scared to do anything to my arms, but we'll we'll see. We'll see. Um, I learned to give myself grace. I learned that it is okay to be a slow loser. Um, and I learned to chew, chew, chew. Um, just eating really fast i get gas um yeah what can i think of to say in this video um what i don't like um fried food often makes me feel very very full it makes my stomach hurt so i try to stay off, away from fried food even though i love fried fish love fried fish i don't too much eat a lot of fried food but on fridays i do like eating fried fish so um i have to pull away from that um what else does it my, my body doesn't 
I can eat salads. A lot of people say that they can't eat salads. Um, I just can't eat lettuce. Like I've tried to get eat it really fine, like shred it really finely, but I just, my body does not like it. It makes me feel, it makes me feel weird. Um, and I notice, and everybody's body is different, but for me, when I tend to eat more, I lose more weight, um, but I don't like overeating, if that makes sense. I don't like to eat a lot. I like to get my protein from my pre-made protein shakes, my um, strawberry cheesecake, yogurt, um, Greek yogurt, cheese, meat, the tuna packets, um, that's mainly where I get my protein from. Um, have I been working out? Uh, I have on and off. I need to be consistent. I'm sure when I am more consistent, I will lose more weight. But right now, my goal is to maintain a healthy, healthy lifestyle and to at least be 199 by my birthday, which is in February. So I'm going to try to do that. <laughs> I'm going to try to do that. Um, my family is very supportive. They always gassing me up, telling me I look good. Um, my boyfriend gassed me up, telling me I look good. My friends... Mm, I haven't really had any negative effects other than every once in a while I get real parched when I'm eating. So I may sip before 30 minutes. And one time I did that, two times, two times I did it and I threw up everywhere. So you have to just... <laughs> But one thing about me is I know my body, so I know I'm about to throw up. So I I hurry up and go to the bathroom. I, I run to the bathroom. So I know it's not like I'm drinking and then it just comes out. I know when I, when, it, when I get that feeling, I know to go to the bathroom. And I have purged, or I forgot the name in the, in the weight loss community. What is it called when you throw up? I've done that maybe three times once in the month of my surgery when i started uh well the month after my surgery when i started easing my way back into foods um i ate some tilapia one day and i was fine and the next day i ate it and i just threw up <laughs> i threw up it was weird um the next time i threw up it was because i didn't want to wait the 30 minutes after eating um, and then those other times I did that. So, yeah. Um, just be very, very careful and make sure that you f are following your, your the directions that your doctor has given you. Um, each doctor has d different plans, um, different directions, and just follow that, <laughs> whatever it is. Um, what else? Um, I can't think of anything else. Um, like I said, my family is very supportive. I did thorough research before going to Mexico. Love, love, love Slimmer Me. Love my doctor. Um, I honestly wish that I would have done it sooner. I really wish I would have did it through the pandemic, but um, during the pandemic, I was thinking about other plastic surgeries, so I was like trying to um go hard in the gym and i did that from 2020 to 2021 i kept gaining weight losing it and i just got tired and i was just like i need to do something and so the tool that i have has definitely helped me um it has definitely helped me and i'm so very grateful it's some of the best money I spent this year. <laughs> I spent a lot of money. And um, that was the best money I spent. Um, I see a lot of people in my comments from my other video um, stating that people should try to work out um, before doing or thinking about getting the surgery. One, um, whatever they decide to do, that's their business. Like if you, <laughs> 
like if you are not for surgery then don't click the page like don't click the video um i've tried i've I've been fat my entire life. I've been overweight my entire life. I've been trying to lose weight and gaining it back and plus more since forever. So um, I just feel better. I feel better. I take my vitamins every day, every day, every day, every day I take my vitamins. Um, I just feel better. I look better. My clothes feel better. So I went from wearing a size 22 to a size 16, um, in just four months. And I'm extremely happy. Um, I'm happy. Um, every day I see a change in my face. Like I've always had like high cheekbones and my face structure has always been like, so, um, just getting smaller i see it in my face and i see how my face is you know getting that like sculpting um love how my clothes are fitting me um and i just love my confidence now um i've always been confident as a big girl i've been insecure about several things uh like my arms and my boob fat in the back my back fat um but i always been pretty and um i definitely so far see how people are treating me different just by 61 pounds like people are weird um i'm not trying to talk to nobody who thought that they curved me in the past <laughs> i really never had that problem because yeah but no mm -mm. no no um but yeah that's all I got. That's all I could think of. I don't want to continue to ramble. Um, but yeah, if you're thinking about getting it and you your insurance covers it, do it. If you don't have insurance, look into going to Mexico. Um, yeah. I will post some before and after pictures in the video. Um, but if you have any questions, feel free to drop it down below. I try to respond to everybody, positive or negative. Um, I do appreciate you guys sitting down and watching me ramble. And, um, Merry Christmas if you celebrate Christmas. Happy Hanukkah if you celebrate Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. And Happy New Year. I wish you all a prosperous um new year and um if you are new to um the world of weight loss surgery welcome to the loser bench um and if you have any questions once again feel free to leave them below thank you for watching and bye Ooh.